Okay, let's do just a couple little, little uh, what we call this, hot shots. We'll, we'll, you know what? Our good friends at uh, Rocky Cross Construction North, uh, RCCN, as you know, in Calgary, uh, and, uh, you know, our good friend Alan, his company, it's based on, uh, you know, unparalleled understanding of restoration, construction, and cleaning from single residential or large, a large loss disaster. So you got a big problem, you want to be calling RCCN in, in, uh, in not only Western Canada, but specifically in Calgary, because uh, at Rocky Cross, they'll get it done. They're the best in the business. Make sure you see them. So here's, here's what, yeah, let's throw up their, uh, their, their logo, because this is, uh, you, you had it up there? Okay, p- perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you something that happened over the holidays, which is very, very big. Fire. And so this takes place in Buffalo. And so this is actually a raw feed from TSN, and I believe property of the IIHF, if we have to throw that in there. What you're going to see, and this is a raw feed, so there's no announcing here. Do you like this? So there you are, outside. That's your visual, that's your camera angles. Okay, pick that away. Ha- do you like seeing that for the World Juniors, or do you like s- like it sometimes? Do you like it for the Heritage Games? What's your take on the outdoor game, period? I'm getting kind of tired of it. I understand the cities that host it are not tired of it. They put 40,000 people in that building where they've been struggling to fill indoor rinks. They've made up with this cash grab outside of the building. I understand that part of it, but for the significance of that game, out of <clears throat> sorry, out of all the games we've seen outside in the history of hockey, that's the biggest game that was on the line and that garbage was performed outside. That's why I don't like it. And hey, and you know what? You know what? And who would have thought the snow belt of North America in the end of December <laughs> be w- would be cold and yeah. snow? Yeah. I, I would not think that of Buffalo at the end of December, but hey, I guess I was wrong. I can't believe that people would have found that interesting. Now, I get there's this weird fetish about sports played in bad weather. You talk about it in football all the time, which why in Buffalo, when they used to have playoff games, that worked to their advantage. You take a team that plays in a dome, over. Or a team, warm weather team, over. Very difficult to play in. I personally, I'm not a snow bowl, bowl kind of guy. I've never liked when the best athletes have to play in garbage. We saw it in the CFL in the Great Cup. I don't think the, the Argos had any rights probably before the game started. Uh, if it were a clean, sunny day, if it sure. were in a dome, I don't think this thing's even close. But because of the way that snow works, people seem to enjoy that. I personally don't. When I saw the camera angles, when I saw the camera angles on that hockey game, I was like, oh, come on. Yeah. Did you, did you, did you not know where the facility was? Did you the, think- rink, the rink looked like they were playing in a hallway. It did. It, it was it, terrible. <laughs> it was like, Rusty, you, know you like it, but you, you, couldn't, you, didn't, you didn't like that, did you? Well, I... I almost went to the game. I had tickets, ended up having to sell them. Um, I don't know. I would have liked being there, but as far as in such a short tournament playing a game in those conditions, it's it's a little questionable. Yeah, I I think, I, I, I think that to me it's it's run its course. I get it. And, yeah. and, but you made another point. But maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's for the guy who's in that city. That's right. Because in the right, city, for the experience of the city, in the city, depending on what city is it, it takes over the city. I, I've been to a couple of these games. The last one I went to was in Winnipeg. It took over the city, and, and not only not only for the actual game itself, and it wasn't that cold too, which was great. But you can't predict that. You can't predict weather. I'm sorry, you never can. Uh, even the Heritage game prior to with the alumni put thirty thousand people in the crowd, and you sit there and you go. 30,000 on Saturday, 30,000 on Sunday, because that's all the building kind of fitted. Uh, you get 60,000 people watching two different games. That, in a normal building, is four different gates. That's a big deal when you look at you know the costs at the end of the year. And that's why every single year somebody wants me, 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 my turn to host. I, I yeah. want to host now. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you can host then and you can host next year. Okay, good. And you'll host that. Everybody wants this game to showcase it. Now, as far as the TV audience is concerned, 
that's where the the setback is because as a viewer that wants to watch a good hockey game don't watch it if you're not interested that's I, I think the game is here to stay as far as the outdoor game they'll do it once a year this year they're doing it again more than once a year I don't get that part of it because guess what the Maple Leafs are actually involved in one of these games in Washington coming up uh, I believe it's February or March isn't it March 3rd March 3rd so that's going to be one of those games where it's like okay Leaf fans capital fans interested rest of the NHL could give a crap but it's going to stay. It makes money. They put them in a lot bigger buildings. You saw the one in uh, in uh, City Field in New York City. They filled that thing or came close to it. You make more money, Mike. If it's making more money, jersey sales, all the outdoor parking, all the different festivities, all those stupid hats that have the logo on it that says 2018, me, 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 me. It's yeah. more money for the city that does it. It generates more money for the NHL. And also, it puts the NHL on the national map for every single sports station that doesn't necessarily cover the NHL. Hey, look what's happening in hockey today on January 1st. They're outdoors. Isn't that neat? There's your 30 seconds. You move on. And that's what we've seen so many times. That's why it's here to stay. And that's why as hockey guys that we are, we'll sit there, we'll suck it up, and we can't wait until January the 2nd. What? Just become best friends. Yep. 